Hi, I'm Ian Morris with the High School Media Team doing the Winter Sports Preview. First up is Dylan Bronco with Coach Callaway. I'm Dylan Bronco and I'm here with Mr. Callaway, the girls basketball coach. So Mr. Callaway, how many girls do you have out this year? Um, we have 11 on the roster, um, but to start the year we only, uh, only have 10 that were able to play. Uh, Kendall Crone is still recovering from a, a knee injury this summer. Uh, we hope around Christmas time that she'll be cleared from that and we'll start to be able to do full practices and playing games after that. So 10 right now, 11 about halfway through the season. Right. And how has practice been going so far? Um, pretty well, considering um, we're kind of completely starting over this year. Um, we really only have three girls of the 10 practicing right now that actually played last year. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a new crew this year with um, freshmen and a couple coming back for some injuries that they had. So, um, you know, practice has been competitive. We've had to kind of go back to more basic stuff and start over, um, but that's not all bad either, so. All right. And what are your goals for this season? Um, Coach Figgy and I, have, you know, we kind of sat down and, you know, we talked about it. And a lot of it's just seeing improvement, you know, day to day. Um, obviously, we haven't played any games yet, but game to game. And just seeing that improvement, um, we're really young. So, you know, setting a win-loss goal is not something we talked about. We just really want to see them improve every day, every practice, every game. And... You know, as long as we see that, I, you know, I think that is kind of our ultimate goal of this season. Right. Um, how do you anticipate the season will go? Um, you know, really, I, I think we can have a, a competitive team. Um, there's going to be ups and downs any time that you have a roster that has, you know, eight freshmen and sophomores of your 11. Um, you know, you're really inexperienced. So there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. There's going to be games that they're going to get in there and they're going to really compete and they're going to do some good things. And then the next game there might be the case that they look like freshmen and sophomores that haven't played very much and we might look like we've never practiced. So there's going to be them ups and downs. But you know, by the end of the season, I think we can be a team that can compete with a lot of the teams in our league. Um, and that's saying something considering our league – um, is always real tough, especially on the girls' side. Um, you know, we return the state champion and state runner-up in a 1A Division One, or state champion, state third place finisher in a 1A Division One, and both them teams return a lot of girls. And there's other really solid programs in our league. So if you can compete in our league, um, you can compete in about any league in the state at our classification. And finally, what do you think of your managers this season? Well, you know, I have four of them this year, a couple of them due to injury. Um, and, I, you know, three of them have been doing really well. And then there's this other one, Dylan Bronco, and the jury's still kind of out on him and what he's got to get done this year. But, no, um, you know, the managers have been doing really good and doing what we ask of them. And, you know, Dylan, you do do a good job keeping the stats for us every game. So. Right. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Dylan. Yep. Thank you, Dylan, for the interview. Next is Ke Keegan Burnritter with Coach Neha. Hello, my name is Keegan Burnritter, and I'm here with the Onega High School wrestling coach, Chris Niehaus. So, how are practices going so far this season? Uh, they've started off a little bit rocky, but we started to progress a little bit. We had our dollar scrimmage, so that helped out a lot. Uh, we saw where we were at. Um, might be a rough season. We'll find out here pretty quick. So. All right. What do you expect from the team this year? Our goal is to get one out to Hayes for state. Um, we're looking for a couple 500 record seasons this year to get some kids some wins. Um, we're pretty young. We only have one senior and one upperclassman, so we're trying to grow at the same time. So it, we'll see how it turns out. How many, rest, uh, how many wrestlers do you have out this season? We currently have five wrestlers. We have one senior, three sophomores, and one freshman right now. How was your first year of coaching going so far? It's a learning experience. It's a little bit of an uphill curve, so you got to pick it up as you go and keep running. All right. <clears throat> when is your first meet? We start this Saturday, December the 2nd, at Lincoln, and then we start next week at home for two meets. 
All right. Well, thank you for the interview, and good luck on the season. Thanks. Thank you, Keegan, for the interview. Finally, it's Lane Cress with Coach Baxter. Hello, I'm Lane Cress with the Onega High School ba Boys Basketball Coach, Mr. Baxter. So, Mr. Baxter, how are practice going so far? Oh, they're going pretty well. Uh, boys are working hard and they have good attitudes. Uh, there's a lot of inexperience, so um, we've got a lot to a lot to do, always got something to work on, but um, so far going so well. What are you focusing on doing these practices? Uh, first, a lot of fundamentals. Um, still, younger guys, the very basics, but we're kind of getting ready to play uh, Dolphin West tomorrow, so we're trying to trying to uh, gear up practice a little bit to prepare for them, but at the same time, we're still working on our own stuff. How many new players do you have this year? Uh, quite a few, actually. Uh, I think we've got three or three, three athletes that didn't even play last year. Sophomores, three sophomores that are out. And we have two freshmen that are new. So we got quite a few new players, and on the varsity level, a lot of new faces. Uh, so we'll uh, pretty uh, pretty fresh year. Which players did you lose from last year, and how would that affect the team? Uh, we lost a lot of seniors last year. Uh, we lost uh, Ben Kufal and Logan Martin, Tyler Herman, uh, Luke Martin, Brandon Melvin, and Blake Wesley. And they, uh, they'll be missed. Seniors are, but that group will really be missed. They're a special group. But you know, they're not walking through the door, so uh, the guys we have this year, they got to step up and, and fill those shoes. And it starts tomorrow. How do you think going to state last year um, will affect the team? Well, I think it gave these guys a little excitement. Uh, they got a little taste of it, and I think they want to go back there. So um, hopefully after a season of working hard and getting better, maybe we can get back there and give it a shot. Thank you for your time, Mr. Pato, and I wish you luck in the f future season. All right, thank you. Thanks, Lane, for the interview. And that'll be it for today. Stay tuned for more interviews. Come into the pharmacy to see our wide variety of gifts. We are now accepting all insurance plans at the pharmacy. And we're still carrying a good selection of cards for any occasion. Service with a smile. Coming soon, the soda fountain will be back. Come to Charlie's Bar and Grill for good food and great company. Check out Charlie's Facebook page for new daily specials. Hours include Sunday through Tuesday, 11 to 2, Wednesday through Thursday, 11 to 8, Friday through Saturday, 11 to 9. And make sure to stop in Sunday for our home style meals. Come shop at Omega Country Market. Fresh meat cut daily. Come check out our deli. Hours include Monday through Saturday, 7 to 7, on Sunday, 10 to 4. Come on in to Farmer's State Bank. There are locations in Manhattan, Westmoreland, and Onega. Check out our online banking and our banking app. Come in on Fridays for coffee, tea, and cookies. Member FDIC. Pop Service, 200 Litter Street. Onega, Kansas, 66521. Phone number 75. 
specializing in auto and truck repair. Come to the J Bird Motel. Call 785-889-7105 or check out our Facebook page for availability. Kitchenette and full bath available in some rooms. Facilities, cable, and Wi-Fi in every room. Located 501 Western Street, Onega, Kansas. J Bird Motel. Come to Creations by Carla for all your styling needs. Dying and cutting hair. Shellac and acrylic nails. Tanning beds and spray tans. Call 785-889-4941. Creations by Carla.